Right, okay guys. So, today's video, I'll, I'll explain a little bit about it. Originally I was going to do this video as what I thought were the three best emulation devices. And then I thought, well I know someone who knows more about emulation devices than me. And that guy's Wayne from Wamal Gaming. So I asked him and said, do you fancy taking part in my video? And he said, okay, no problem. What do you want me to do? And I said to him, well, you know, what in your opinion are your three best emulation devices? And he said, yeah, no problem. I'll, I'll, I'll get that ready for you. So, you know, that's what he did. The reason I asked Wayne is because Wayne, I'm, I'm involved in the retro emulation uh, fan group on Facebook. And so is Wayne. And I've seen Wayne help quite a few people on there. Um, especially with the tech side of it. I mean, at the moment, he's even um, recently created his own operating system. So, you know, the guy knows what he's talking about. And I thought, well, you know, rather than me give my opinion, someone who doesn't know as much as he does, it would be better to get his opinion. And I thought you guys might enjoy it as well. And also, obviously, if you like what you hear from uh, Wayne, you can head over to his channel, One More Gaming. The link will be in the description below. Right, so take it away, Wayne. Hello, it's Wayne here from One More Gaming. I was recently asked by Lee, the nerdy geezer, what my top three emulation devices are. Well, obviously, I really do love my handhelds. So all three are handheld devices. Even though you can get much more powerful devices like the Raspberry Pi 4 that can emulate everything fantastic and I own those devices and they are great. But it's just nothing like just sitting back with a nice handheld playing video games. So, in number three, just switch this one on. Is the GPD XD Plus. Now this one is an Android 7 based device. So you've got a nice touch screen on it. You can access the Play Store and download other Android games as well as using it for emulation. And it is the most powerful handheld of them I own, even though it is probably one of the oldest ones I own. Nobody's really topped this one yet. It can play all the way up to Dreamcast, N64, probably PSP, but I don't use it for much for that, perfectly. But the reason why it's not my favourite is because I find it not quite as comfortable to hold as the others and the controls aren't quite as good. Though I do use this in my videos with my capture card because it has got a nice uh, HDMI output. So yeah, while I could recommend this device, it's a great device. It's a nice clamshell one, like a bit, more, bit like a probably a very similar size to a 3DS XL. For me, it just doesn't feel quite as nice to use, and the interface. While this one's a a, bot, a store added uh, interface, so you can use the controller to move things around. It's just not quite as use, usable as my other two devices I'm going to show. So there we have number three. So in second place, we have the PlayStation Vita. Now once hacked, this is an excellent device. It does take a bit to hack. You have to downgrade the firmware to 3.6 or 3.65. Sorry, I just, I've got a game launched on there. And it's, and, and, but once you've done that, you go through the procedure. It takes about an hour to hack it. Maybe less if you're really good at these sort of things. This one is probably, out of all the three, is the most comfortable to hold and has the most gorgeous screen out of all of them. And obviously it runs Vita games, which are just some excellent ones to choose from. And it also runs PSP games flawlessly. 
It also has uh, a few emulators available. I've only got a couple installed. So I've got uh, Daedalus, which is N64. Bit hit and miss, but it's playable. I've got uh, the Game Boy Advance emulator and I've got RetroArch, which gives you loads of emulators, as you probably already know. And it also has a dedicated port of Super Mario 64 on here. So yeah, this is this is another fantastic handheld, and I do play it a lot. So on to my absolute favourite device, which probably not uh, come as no surprise to a lot of people, as you I've done quite a lot of videos on these devices, if you've been following my channel. Is the RG three five one M. Now this is a great device, so easy to use, and has so much, so many systems that you can play. You can also pick from three or four different operating systems, and you can swap between them just by switching the memory, switching the SD cards out. Not a problem at all. Now the, I, I'm currently running ArcOS, which is, and a custom build of ArcOS which I've created recently. And I, I've added another system to it, which is the Amstrad GX4000, which is a favourite of Andy's from UK Crowd Gaming. But this one, the reason I really love it is because it's the perfect size to carry around. And it also has so many different systems on, and I mean a lot of systems. You know, you've got you've obviously got MAME, Capcom systems. Pokemon Mini, Atari, Odyssey 2, even if you if you like really old stuff, PC Engine, Turbo Graphics, Super Graphics, Nintendo family, family Disk System, you know, all your Nintendo consoles, Virtual Boy. And then you get into you then you get more oddball systems, obviously, like uh, the Watara Supervision and Vetrex. And the one I talked about earlier, which is the Amstrad GX4000. This thing, out of the box, just you just get a nice menu. Select the system you want to play. Say you want to play some arcade games. Select that. And once it's scraped, you get a nice list. You can scrape the images and you can have a nice video per game. So you can have a look at what the games are. So you select something that... People will recognize. I'll just go down to something. There are so many games on here, it takes a while to scroll through them all. So there you have Bubble Bobble, proper arcade version. And as you can see, you get a nice little video playing. So when you're scrolling through, you can decide, oh, what should I play? And the other thing is, which is nice, if on the main menu you press the select key, it starts playing random videos from your, from your scraped things, and you can just cycle through just to find a random game to play you might fancy. Once you find something you want, say that one, Bubble 2000, press your start key, It'll launch straight into that game, which is a really nice feature because with so many games, you just never know what you want to play. So it's nice to be just to randomly pick something up. So yeah, in summary, number three, it's the GPD XD Plus. Oops, that game's still going. I'll just shut that down. And in number two, we have the PS Vita. And my absolute favourite device is the RG351M. Well, I hope that's a good answer to the question, Lee. And I shall see you in the next one. Thanks for that, Wayne. So as you could see from his little part of the video there, he's uh, give you his three best emulation devices and he's explained a little bit about each one. 
and actually he's number one i've got to be honest um although i don't have that device because i went for the retroid pocket too uh the rg 351 m or or p same difference one's got a metal case one hasn't one's got a plastic hence the p and m um i've got to admit i mean what i've seen of that it does look like a, a really good device so i have actually been tempted to pick one up myself so so yeah um sound advice given now so yeah uh, like i said earlier on if you do want to go out and check out one more gaming because you've watched this video and you've enjoyed what you had to say and all that or maybe emulation is something that interests you his channel link will be in the description below if you want to go and check him out um, and while I'm at it, I'm also going to mention about the Retro Emulation Fan Group. Like I said at the beginning, I'm a part of that as well as Wayne. So again, if you want any help from Wayne, that's a perfect place to get it. Uh, that is also in the description below, the link for that. It's on Facebook. So, And it's getting a, the group's getting bigger all the time. You, you can't keep up with it. I mean, you know, it, literally right from the get-go people were just joining and last time i looked it was over 150 people on there so when you consider it's not been going long that's good so so yeah so all there is left to say really before i say my usual is thanks wayne for taking part and like i said check out one more gaming it's a very good channel does some great videos over there and all there is left to say from me is take care stay safe nerdy geezer out